what's good guys Keaton here and welcome back to another episode of impulse buys where basically I have five minutes to go on the internet buy as much stuff as I can usually around like five to six items we check them out here in the studio and see if they're any good Damn it, this sucks and if you guys missed the last episode it was on Amazon I'll leave it right up there in the i card and vote up there which store you guys want me to hit next but let's hit Best Buy. So in tradition of all episodes, I have five minutes on my iPhone 8 Plus here, and as you see it, you know it's legit. Let's start it off. So we're on BestBuy.com. It's been a minute since I've been back to Best Buy, so let's see what they got. Jump right into products. Galaxy S9, oh, that's coming out. Let's see what they got for deals. Deals, deals, deals. Video games and VR, okay. We got 5% battery, so it's gonna be a battle to the races here. Any, like gaming headphones? Ooh, I'm feeling some gaming headphones. Here we go, here we go. All right, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna search for some gaming headphones. Bam, bam, look at those. So we have the G633 Artemis. We also have these $40 G430s. So I stumbled across these, the Logitech G433 wired seven in one gaming headset. 99 bucks to add it to cart. Next up, I'm looking for something for the camera. Always something cool for like batteries. Um, there's not really been too many new accessories for the camera. You have those like lens cleaners. You have some SD card holders. The Sony a7 III is out. Let's see what they got for accessories. All right, so I came into the battery charging section on Best Buy. There was something I saw a little bit ago. It was called like the DigiPower or something. There it is, sweet. So this is a travel charger. Basically you buy one for like Sony, Nikon, Canon. You could put any battery that is compatible with it in there. So in theory, you have one charger to charge up many, what seems like proprietary batteries that you need specific chargers for. This is dope. All right, I'm gonna grab one for the Sony that I have, the RX100 Mark V. 40 bucks, not bad, definitely on the cheaper side. Awesome, so we got two things in the cart. We got to hustle up here. So looking for drones, not gonna lie, it's kind of that season. It's about to be the summer, spring's starting to come up. And the DJI Mavic Pro, I've set my eyes on it, I need one. The Spark looks cool, the Pro's really what you want. A thousand dollars, a thousand dollars. There's a combo too, $1,300, you get a bag? What's the platinum base about? Ooh, that platinum looks fresh. All right, I can't spend that much. I'm only going with a thousand dollar one. Looks super small. Okay, so also kind of building a gaming PC right now. I'm starting to look at the wide range of gaming mice out there. There's the cheap ones, the all right ones, and the really expensive but good ones, like the Rat series. I used to have a Rat 9 growing up. Now I don't, so I just use the Logitech MX Master or just the trackpad on my MacBook. So let's see what they got for cheap mice. This Logitech M570 looks good. 25 bucks, not bad. I like that ball, that's cool. Ooh, there she is, 19 bucks. Logitech G300S optical gaming mouse. I mean, for 20 bucks, I'm not crying. Add that thing to cart. Kind of feeling classy. When you go to Best Buy, I at least expect to spend at least $1,000. That's just me here to make some good videos for you guys. Let's see what they got for smartwatches. I forgot what kind of smartwatches are even out outside the Apple Watch. I'm just not wearing it. I always forget to wear it for the videos. Gear S3. The Garmin one looks really good, 60 bucks. I'm checking that out next time. Fossil, Samsung, make a freaking decision. So we got 10 seconds left. I'm really calm, unlike normal. Logitech, just kidding. I don't know why I'm reading Logitech. <laughs> Huawei Watch 2 Classic Smartwatch. This is it. All right, shut up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna at least talk why I like this watch. 45 millimeter face. Looks nice, GPS mapping, heart rate monitoring, pretty much all the basic stuff. AMOLED screen looks nice, and I like those buttons. Ooh, this looks classy. All right, 269 bucks, sounds great. I feel like I'm taking this like a champ. Follow me on Instagram if you guys wanna know when these come, and just some quick behind the scenes before I actually shoot the next part, when all these actually arrive from UPS, FedEx, post office. Best Buy's just down the street. I should've just gone, but I wanna kick it in here. It's a little cold out, it's raining. So this is our total. Wow, here we go. 1400 bucks, five awesome things. We got the headset, travel charger, an extra battery, DJI, and it wants to sell me all this stuff. Nah, I'm not into it. A mouse, and then the Huawei Watch 2 Classic. I'm pumped, let's hit checkout. Let's do this thing. So we're back at the studio right now, about to check out some cool stuff from Best Buy. We got five things here, Huawei smartwatch, Logitech gaming mouse. These are headphones. It's been a little bit since we've done this. Picked up a DJI Mavic, which 
which I'm pumped about. And then this cool battery accessory, which I guarantee you've never seen. Basically one charger to charge any battery. Pretty cool. So up first, let's actually check out this battery thing. If you guys want to check out anything mentioned in this video, I'll leave it linked in the description below. Honestly, finding cool and different stuff, it's not something that anyone can just find. I don't want to make myself sound cool, but like, it takes a while to find cool and interesting stuff. So basically, this is just one battery charger, and they make a few different types that charges any type of battery. So for Sony digital cameras, we're set. You just push the batteries in there, and they charge. So on the back gives you a little bit of the specs, and then these are the cameras that it's compatible with. So pretty big selection. Then I got an extra Sony battery here. I'm actually running the RX100 Mark V, so we'll see if they both work. Nice, we get an international adapter. Oh, that's lit. Wow, that's awesome. Plugs right into the wall, USB on the side, and then batteries just slot on in there. All right, let's try it. So just grab my RX100 right here. I'm really loving this point and shoot. Let's see if this battery works. Plug this in. Will it say anything when it's powered on or only when I put a battery in it? Button on the side? All right, oh wow, there we go. So we're gonna put in the extra refill battery that I picked up at Best Buy. Let's see what happens. I'm guessing it'll just charge. Oh, that's nice. You just push it up there. It fits because there's like this, almost a speed bump kind of in the middle slot. So it kind of fits the battery size and shape. Then it just connects on the contacts. It's easy, let's try out the RX100 battery now. Kind of cool. Oh, it just rejected me. Oh, sweet. This one was at full charge and this one says we're charging. Kind of some fun you find at Best Buy. Next up is this Logitech gaming mouse. So I know Logitech's really been on their mouse game recently. I have the MX Master, really love it. Never really checked out any other gaming mice. I'll let you guys know if it's good. So this is the G300S. Blue, nice color. Looks like this has been opened once or twice. Hopefully it's not because someone didn't like it or because of, well, yeah, this has definitely been opened. What did we get ourselves into? It looks like a $30 mouse. 100% is a $30 mouse. So nice ergonomic. You got some cutouts on the side, so your palm just kind of rests in there. That's really nice. Ooh, that's nice. Glides, I could honestly browse the internet for like four hours using this and have no problems. You got some mappable buttons. It's kind of cool for that. Oh wow, six. Scroll wheel. This is nice, solid mouse if you travel. Let's try it out. Ooh, that's silky smooth. With a nice mouse pad, I know Razer's making some good ones. I'll leave that link down below to the one I'm using right now. This would be the setup. Wow, this, oh, look at that blue light too. I bet that's configurable. Is it? Mm. Let me know in the comments if you guys know. Wow, which item is your favorite? Vote up in the iCard. This is not a bad mouse. This right now, no, the battery thing was pretty cool. This is like my second favorite. I mean, we're only on our second item. Now, this is something I kind of forgot about. I think these are gaming headphones, but they also could just be headphones. Only one way to find out by actually getting the box open. Okay, there we go. Whoa. Those are really nice. I don't remember grabbing these, but they showed up. Yeah, these are definitely some nice gaming headphones. Look at that, look at that fabric. That microfiber is tight. Ooh, when you put them on your head, I feel like these are meant to be really light, and that's the material, it's like this cloth fabric. So your ears don't sweat. Everything just kind of stays dry and you can game for longer. That's tight, I like that, it's really nice. Adjustable headband, stuff you'd know to expect. Attachable cable at the bottom. Oh, this is gonna be banger. All right, let me see what else comes in the box. I feel like we have a few other goodies. Nice little carrying case. That's for your cables, extra ear cups. Wow, they thought of everything. Oh, is that a bag? No way. That's sweet. Man, they really hooked it up. You get a bag, a carrying case, and the headphones. Attention to detail is, it's there. Oh yeah, these are definitely for gaming. Now I can roast them on Xbox Live. I'm just tech smart. Make sure you guys add me. Oh baby, that is tight. So you got your mic here, it's detachable. Plug that in. Oh, you're definitely getting roasted on COD. Modern Warfare 2, it's going down. Let me try this out. Oh, this is the setup. Logitech, yo, the G300S. I don't remember how much I paid for these. Check the link in the description. But man, I like these. Wow, these feel nice. All right, then we get a few other cables. Guessing, okay, yeah, that's the mic. Oh, there's control talk on here too. All right, when you're gaming. All right, let's try these out. Yeah, dude, after, I'd say like two, three hours, I don't see my ears showing any sweat, any fatigue. I like the material they use. It's like, I gotta smell it. It's like this nice fabric, really breathable. Definitely breathable. All right, let's try this out. New Foss to the people, ride or die. Here we go. Definitely surprised. This sounds way better. Whoa. What? I was not expecting this. I feel like I say this about every pair of headphones I listen to. My expectations are always low. Bass is really there. Mid's good, high's really good. You know how fast the people sounds. 
pumped up kicks. It all sounds so good. Really clear. Yeah, someday. Wow. These headphones sound great. Honestly, if you really want to jump in a cod, throw these on, you're going to hear everyone's footsteps. I kid you not. Like, these sound really good. Ooh, this is something I'm really stoked about. So I saw this at Best Buy. It's the Huawei Watch 2 Classic. I've heard they're doing some cool stuff with smartwatches, but I haven't checked one out since my Apple Watch, which I don't know why I'm not wearing today. Maybe it's fitting we're doing this video. I need one. How do you open this? It's complex packaging. I'm actually confused. Ooh, I, all right. So here is the classic watch. That looks fire. Solid face. I like that. That's detail. It's like this leather, but also rubber band. It's kind of cool. Won't really sweat, and it looks good. That's what it's about. Charger. Ooh. I'm always interested. Sometimes they give out these funky chargers. Funky. That is a funky charger. That is 100% a funky charger. Just sticks on like, eh, that's not too bad. USB. Pretty basic. Wall adapter. That's it. So watch finally booted up. We're gonna pair it to an iPhone. I got my iPhone 8 Plus here. I've never tried Android Wear on an iPhone. I usually use it on like a Pixel or like the new Galaxy S9. Kind of excited to see this. I wanna see how well it integrates. Connecting, pair, sweet. That was easy. There we all go. So we are set up. Wow, Classic 2 looks really hot. I'm gonna throw this on my wrist. I'm liking this leather band that's also got this rubberized side. So if I go to the gym, I'm fine, no big deal. Fresh. So everything's controlled on the watch, obviously, but there's also this companion app that I'm really digging. All right, take access to my location. How do we change faces? Add more, oh, that's fresh. Google, you do such a good job. Man, I missed Android Wear. It looks so good. All right, so really just modify watch faces, and it seems just heavily notification-based. So when someone texts me or calls me or wants to hit me up, I think we're good. Wow. Dude, look at this timepiece. Design's good. Yeah, buddy, I'm a fan. That's nice. This is like a nice looking smartwatch. Last of has to be the coolest thing on this list. It's my first time with the DJI Mavic Pro. So this cost me about a thousand bucks. And what's awesome about this line of drones is they're super portable. So looks kind of like a big drone now. I know looks can be super deceiving. Wings kind of spread out here. Battery's just right here. Check the indicator. I haven't even shown you the controller yet. So this kind of spans out. You have a three axis gimbal here. DJI has been making their own cameras. So it's been looking pretty good. It's definitely gotten better over the years. You have your sensors at the bottom so it knows when it's gonna crash into something. And these drones are extremely hard to crash. I made a video where I tried to crash the new Phantom 4. If you guys missed that, I'll leave it right up there. Super funny. We basically threw a box at it and we made it crash. All right, so what's awesome about these mini sized drones is the arms fold up. So obviously, Take care of your wings and then these arms fold back like that wings there back like that let's go there you guys get the idea it's a super portable drone can you guys believe how big these things used to be now it literally fits in the palm of your hand if you got deep pockets you're wearing some insane joggers this will fit this will fit perfectly so let's check out the controller because this is just half it so this comes with the controller this also has become way better over the years you have your two antennas here, little LCD screen, but you're probably saying to yourself like, DJI has had these great displays. I can see everything, I can control it just from my phone and they don't leave you lacking. So here are your controls and then the phone attaches at the bottom. So I'll get my iPhone here. Oh dude, that's so mint. Check this out. So your iPhone plugs in at the bottom. You can see that there's the uh, lightning connector, it's right there. So we got it all charged and set up. Basically, I'm gonna take this outside. I'm sorry about the beeping, I just, the battery's really low on it. This is awesome, so this is the controller, plugs into your phone, works with any phone, and it just works. So these are your controls, you can see the viewfinder here. I've got my boy Ev on camera, and this is the Mavic Pro. So let's head outside, actually fly this thing, and shut this beeping up. For this impulse buy guys make sure you guys check out some of the other videos in the iCard up there and vote up there which was your favorite product and the one you thought was the most worth it subscribe if you're new drop a like too and follow me on instagram if you're cool and i'll see you guys later peace